All right, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, in the past I've done a couple videos um, from requests from people on YouTube. This video happens to be another one of them. It's from a kid named Sean Glidersleeve. I believe I pronounced his last name correctly if I got that wrong. Sorry about that, Sean. Um, he wanted to see the Vision Line Union Pacific Big Boy lashed up with the uh, Lionel Legacy uh, b and EM1. So that works out good for me. I'm a big fan of both of them with the uh, B&O being my favorite railroad. Um, these two engines are going to be pulling a rather short train today. I don't know if you guys are aware that I have a rather small layout, especially if you're trying to run two big articulators hooked up together with a big string of cars. So I think i only got six cars behind them today. They're the uh, Union Pacific uh, fruit cars. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, start these engines up. Run them for a little bit and then I will let you guys know what I have planned in the future for the layout as well as my uh, ever growing roster of engines.
Alright, as, uh, as far as my future engine roster goes, um, I got an engine yesterday from a guy on the OGR forum. It's a Chessy System SD40-2. If you're on the forum, if, uh, look at the weekend photo fun. There will be a video of that at some point. Um, now I have all three phases of the, I guess we call it the CSX phases. I have the the B&O, the Chessy, and the CSX SD40, so I may do a video of all three of them together. I think that would be a cool little video. Um, I also just bought a steam engine uh, Saturday, the uh, June 27th. Um, everybody knows that watches my videos. I like the UP, and obviously the B&O is my favorite. So it is a steam engine of one of those two road number or road names. Um, if you guys care to take a guess in the comment section, feel free to. If not, if not, I will have a video of it as soon as it gets here. I've been chasing that engine for five years or so. Um, so that about does it for the future engines. As far as the future of the layout, um, I've been in the works of getting a bridge design. I'm going to add two elevated lines that are basically just going to be to pull passenger trains. Um, they won't be, you won't be able to access them from the, the lower level. You just, it'll be a standalone lines. So hopefully that bridge comes along hopefully sometime this year and I can get started on that and then I can uh, get started on doing some sort of scenery that I want to do. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, until the next video, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe below.